to get resource packs slash texture packs, they're the exact same thing, on Mac OS in Minecraft. Well, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to be downloading them. We're going to be installing them. It's all going to be covered here. Now, first things first, you might need to download a resource pack. And if you've got one already, great. But if you don't, we have a list in the description down below for 15 resource packs for Minecraft. Currently 1.19, but guess what? This updates to the newest version of Minecraft every single time a new version releases. We come in here, we review them, we make sure they're all up to date, and uh, those that update quicker end up going to the top. Um, it's kind of just how that works. And then after about a month, if a pack's not updated, it'll be removed from the list. It's kind of how this whole thing works. But yeah, make sure to keep it up to date. We make sure to keep a good variety of packs on here. One we're going to be downloading is John Smith Legacy. Just right clicking on these, opening them in the new tab with the download pa uh, button there. Another one that I really like is actually Spax Pure. Craft. It's more of a cartoony style pack. If you're looking for a modern pack, this is a good one. But we're actually going to scroll down here and grab another more modern pack, which is LB Photo Realism here. Go ahead and download that one as well. So now, of these, two of them, John Smith Legacy and Sfax, have dedicated tutorials. Just go ahead and click on the download button for both of these, and that will take you to their official download pages. Now, every pack has a different download page, so keep that in mind. But nonetheless, for John Smith, we want to download the Minecraft Java version, not the Bedrock. We're downloading for Java. Then once you're here, you can click on the little download link and it will begin downloading. These should be zip files. Unfortunately, Mac OS is uh, kind of interesting in that it will automatically unzip things. Uh, so for example, it's automatically unzipped John Smith down here in the uh, downloads section. If that happens, that's actually perfectly okay, but something to keep in mind that if yours is a zip, I'll tell you how to fix that. But now let's just go ahead and get Svax Beauty Craft. Same thing. Click the download button here. And then we want to go ahead and scroll down and make sure we're selecting the version we want. You can also select, uh, you know, kind of the resolution. I'm going to go for, we'll do 32x. Mac OS is pretty powerful, but I'm going to go lower because I'm recording here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And do you want to download with an ad or become a supporter? We'll download with an ad. And then after we accept the terms of service by clicking the accept button, we just have to wait 15 seconds and watch this video. Once this video has been watched, we'll then be able to uh, click the download button. And while we wait on that, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Check them out the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft hosting. And at Apex, you can make a server public or private. If you're on a Mac, it's super easy to set up. And as long as you can join other servers, like Hypixel, for example, you can join a server on Apex and play with your friends. Nevertheless, if you want to start a Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. There we go. 15 seconds has passed and we can click download. Now we'll go ahead and download automatically right like so. And last, we have photo realism. Now, there's a reason I'm using this pack. That's because, one, it's on CurseForge, and a lot of stuff is on CurseForge. Once you're here, come to the right-hand side and scroll down. Now, they do have this Minecraft 1.19 one here, so we want to go ahead and click on the 1.19 file here. And then once you're here, you want to click on the download button right here. Now, keep in mind that CurseForge has announced a change to their UX, and so because of that, this might be an install button, and if it is, you want to click the little arrow and then click on download file. But in this case, we're just going to click the download button there. After a few seconds, the download will begin. A lot of packs, like I said, are on CurseForge, so it's good to be familiar with this website. There you go, the download has now begun, and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Now, Minecraft's already open for me, but we'll minimize that as well, because let's take a look at these packs. They are going to be found in your downloads folder. And when you open this up, you can see they're all files and folders. They're all unzipped. They're good to go. But if yours aren't and you do have a zip file, right? If we compress this, for example, we will get a .zip file. If that's what you have, just double click on it and it will automatically decompress it and get it, you know, kind of into a folder format. Once you've got all of your packs either extracted and they're no longer in a zip file and they're in this folder format here, I'm going to move them to my desktop. The only reason I'm doing that is just so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing once we're in game. Speaking of in game, go ahead and open up Minecraft. Once you're in Minecraft on the main menu, you want to go ahead and click on options. Then you want to click on resource packs. So again, that was from the Minecraft main menu. Click on options resource packs. Then once you're in the resource pack section, what we want to do is click on the open pack folder button. That's going to open up our resource packs folder. And all you need to do to install your resource packs is drag and drop them from your desktop into the resource pack folder, right? Like so. 
It might give you a warning like this, go ahead and move them, that's okay. And then it's going to move everything over into the resource packs folder and we'll see them appear on the left hand available side. Now, the reason they might not appear right away, which I don't know if they are here, is because we actually just need to refresh this page. It's actually really simple. Oh, they did appear right away, but if we click done and then go back into resource packs, they will appear. Now, in order to activate them, just hover over them and click on this little arrow to move them over here. When you click done, Minecraft will reload and your resource pack will be activated. Now, it is worth noting that one of those packs was red. I'll show you how to deal with that here in a second, but let's just go ahead and jump right on into a world here just to show you that this resource pack is active in game. It's also worth noting, you can actually use resource packs and change them in-game as well. So here we are, we're in-game, this one's working, John Smith Legacy. We hit Escape, go into Options, Resource Packs. It's the same screen we had before, except now what we want to do is hover over John Smith and we'll move it to the Available section. And now let's focus on LBPR Photorealism. To do that, hover over it, click the arrow, and we get this warning. This pack was made for an older version of Minecraft and may no longer work. Well. It will work. Go ahead and click yes. And if you install a pack and for whatever reason you have like pink and black boxes and it just looks weird, you can just come back in here and, and move it to the available. But this pack will work here. If we click done, it's going to reload and we will see that LB Photorealism is in fact installed. And in my opinion, this is the best photorealistic resource pack that you can install without adding shaders. Adding shaders is obviously a big thing and something that you want to do, but Without shaders, this is the best option. Now, it is lagging my computer a little bit here. Um, again, I'm recording, but you can see that it's installed. However, what if you do have some missing textures? This is an older pack. Let's say it was made for 1.18. That means none of the 1.19 textures would be in here. Well, that can be solved. If we go into Options and Resource Packs, we can actually add more than one pack on the right-hand side. Since this one's lagging my computer a bit, I'm actually gonna do this with John Smith Legacy and Pure BD Craft. Now by stacking these over top of each other, and you can move them and see which one's on top, right like so, by doing this, it's going to take all the textures from Pure BD Craft, and then it's going to take all the textures from John Smith Legacy. So it's gonna take the Pure BD Craft textures first, and then the John Smith Legacy textures, and then any textures neither of those have, it will get the default textures. Now, in the case of this, that's not gonna really be showcased, unfortunately, but just know that if you have something like a sword pack, if you're a weapon pack, you can add the weapon pack over another resource pack, and show the custom weapons that you have, as well as every other texture from the resource pack. We click done here, it will reload, and it will activate Pure BD Craft. So boom, there we go, Pure BD Craft. And because this is a lower resolution, only 32, the computer handles it a lot better. But nevertheless, there you have it. That's how you can install resource packs on Mac OS in 2023. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and enjoy your new resource packs and texture packs. Like I said, they're the exact same thing. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.